That's a strange choice of clothing for this weather. Hello, Mr. Arthur. If you could give me some leather working tools, I can make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing in. Okay, leave it with me. Well, I reckon I'm... Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Hey, girl.
Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life. Me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Me twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Sure. Glad I ran into you. Huh. 
I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty... ...piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide, too, as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. You aiming to knock me off? Oh, yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <laughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. Delights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now, but I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Oh, we're getting close now. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please take this as my way of thanking you. Hmm. Appreciate it. <sighs> what a nice lousy day. Nice talking with you, ma'am. Good luck to you. You too. All the best. Yesterday in front of the boss.
sleep well tonight. Fascinating. Take it easy. Yeah, good girl. Hey there. And what is No less than the recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> Gentlemen! <clears throat> Shell of safety. 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 path of safety. Shell of his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? <sighs> I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. Safety? Safety and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Sure. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Let's talk about this! You pop up out of nowhere! 
I found something. A calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk. I'm like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Morning, sir. Move. We going in then? Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that.
feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Nobody got a heart. Hey, buddy. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Okay, just quickly. That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Oh, we used to hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember with kindness. Oh. Move it! Come on! <laughs> Okay, girl. Arthur! Oh, Arthur! 
Hey, you seem in a good mood. I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. Here we go. Well, no Mr. McGuire, we're back home back. now. So come on. So everything's going Let's to be okay. Uncle Sean is back. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you, bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Let's enjoy ourselves. Uh oh, here comes. Open your eyes, Sean. I can't get rid of you, can I? Mind if I join you, fine folks? I suppose. Did you miss him? You're looking lovely. You know, as I ever. think I actually I did. Ha <laughs> ha, me too. Oh, stop it. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. This stupid old. So, what now? Come on. How about a song? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, I bet. Oh, let this him have some friend. fun. He's been for a long. I thought you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. I oh, am yeah, enjoying it. Mm -hmm. I just don't need to fall over drunk with the rest of them. <laughs> you know this one, don't you? Go join in. Mark, well, what I do say? It's humans, Mr. Sabertree. Trailer diddle 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 all the day. I put my hand upon her toe. Mark well what I do say. She says, young man, you're rather low for the diddle 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 all the day. <laughs> well, what I do say. She says, young man, you're rather free for the diddle 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 all the day. I put my arm around her waist. Mark well what I do say. She, she says, says you man, you're really great for the deal, 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 <laughs> just scream and leave and and then they left and then they jump back in again stupid you know what that, that taught me something and, and so and you got your buddy back I never forget wasn't the same without him and that's nope. what most fellas are sheep okay i'll catch you later then that's right so often and and if you can tell the difference between a <laughs> Look at me with the bell of the ball. <laughs> Stop it, at you. You think of me? <laughs> Sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's about all I can muster. <laughs> well, well, well.
Feels like ages since we've done this. Things are on the up again. Fine. Well done, Arthur. Uh, it wasn't just me. All right, well, I should be getting on. <laughs> sure, Arthur. Mr. Morgan! Morgan! Reverend? Hello. Hello. What do you want? I'm not... I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. Yeah. Okay, well, let's talk more later. <laughs> All right. Did good with Sean. We wouldn't have got him without you. All we seem to do is hey, Arthur. What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night? Not too guarded? It's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. You know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there.
Slow up now. Yep. Very good. You there. Would you be interested in some friendly competition? I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Me? A real gunslinger? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles, wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> Perfecto. Damn it all! How the hell did you beat me, huh? Oh. Better shot, I suppose. Oh, that didn't make me happy at all. How about we raise the stakes, huh? All right, let's do it. Aha! Uh -huh. That's a good call, amigo. Okay. Whoever shoots four birds out of the sky first, wins. Simple enough? Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah. There they go! Shoot! Ah! <laughs> It was a good try, but maybe next time, huh? Listen, you need to pay me for your loss, okay? Here. Lucky for you, I'm having a bad day. Mm, maybe we'll do this again, huh? Hasta la próxima, amigo. Yeah.